Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Lee. Uh, so, uh, Master Student at Munster Technological University in Ireland. And today I want to introduce to you uh, the general XC algorithm for the authorship verification problems um, used for the Reddit user data. So, I have to say that I, am, I, I have been very grateful to work with and uh, to be uh, supervised by Mr. Edwardson. Uh, so from Intel Island and uh, to work for this project is just very interesting for me and um, and um, in short this is a, a newly proposed algorithm for the task the authorship verification task and uh, um, so I gonna uh, so in short the presentation is gonna be split into five parts introduction theoretical foundation, the introducing about the algorithm in the chapter 3, the experiment and uh, chapter 5 conclusion. So, introduction. Given a pair of text, task is to identify whether they are written by the same person or not, which is commonly known as uh, authorship verification task. There are many attempts of using different approaches including deep learning, machine learning, statistical testing to solve this problem. And today I introduce to you the kind of the algorithm is based on the, um, the statistical testing and so as such, uh, there are two main theoretical foundation which is the algorithm, the Chinese algorithm is based on. The first one is higher criticism. I get criticism so having the abbreviation XC. So given a set of p value uh, being sorted from p1 to pn, uh, the p1 is smallest, the pn is the largest, and uh, the higher criticism is statistical test to tell whether or not all known hypotheses are true. In other words, all of the p value here are greater than. Uh, significant level, alpha significant level, alpha. Um, maybe it could be 0 0.05, a common value, or uh, there's it cannot tell the alternative hypothesis that not all the known hypotheses are true, which means that among those p value, there's some kind of p value that's smaller than the significant level alpha. Now the axis statistic here is this is the axis statistics. Uh, to drive from the um, XC objective function, the XC objective function uh, being visual, visually represented here in the red uh, light plot here. So the XC statistics is getting the max value from the objective function, and then uh, how to evaluate this when the exit statistic is large so there's enough evidence to support the claim that all of the known hypotheses are true not all of the known hypotheses are true and when the exit is small um, so it means that um, all the known hypotheses are true and um, uh, so this is used for various um, testing problems so for cosmologies for astronomy uh, for kind of detecting cancer or genetic researches. So in this case, uh, the Kipnis, uh, the author named Kipnis in 2020, he developed the exit based similarity algorithm, uh, which is given uh, to document T1 and D2. There's a word D marker in either document D1 and D2. And then the, he proposed a binomial word allocation model saying this the known hypothesis that all of the word w in a vocabulary uh, big w will follow the uh, binomial allocation model across two documents d1 and d2 or the, the alternative hypothesis saying not all the word follow the binomial uh, um, distribution across two documents. So he proposed a test that having kind of the multiple testing again to having multiple testing for individual word deployed in the vocabulary 
deeply here in both of the document D1 and D2. Uh, so this is the, the kind of the input for the higher criticism statistic. Now, and the XBA similarity algorithm can be summarized as follows. The input of uh, is the document D1 and D2. And we perform multiple binomial tests. We have the p-value for all of the word D in the vocabulary, or of the word, sorry, W in the vocabulary W here. And then we calculate the high uh, criticism statistic here. And we got the distance between D1 and D2, uh, distance between document 1 and document 2 as the static higher, uh, higher criticism statistic here. If the distance between two documents is large, so it is more likely that two documents are sampled from different others. If the document between D1 and D is more, uh, uh, D between two documents are small, so it is more likely that two documents sample from the same author. The higher criticism statistic X here is used as the index of similarity, um, but there's one disadvantage here is that we don't know how large it should be or how small it should be to tell two documents are sample from the same or different others. So this is the reason why I just tried to modify this algorithm uh, 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 to make another version of this uh, algorithm into the Chung X algorithm. So Chung X algorithm proposed in this study there are three steps. Step one, chunk the text. The pair of text, text one and text two is split into individual chunks having the same length C. The chunk size C here. Um, then the next step is to calculate the distance between individual chunks with the, each of the corpora. Uh, for example, let's say take this individual chunk X example. We calculate the distance between this uh, um, this individual chunk here. So firstly, we have a text one and text two. Uh, text one chunks are in red and text two chunks in blue. Uh, for individual chunk, for this at an example, we calculate the distance between this chunk to the text one. This is the D one, and distance between text uh, this chunk uh, to the text two. We have the Daniel line where D one equal D two for those uh, for the area above the diagonal line. So where the D one is greater than d2 and the error below the diagonal line where d1 is smaller than d2 when the d1 is bigger than d2 this string is classified as d1 is bigger than d2 this individual string is classified as the classified in the corpora for the c2 predicted when the d1 is smaller than d2 so individual chunk is classified into the C1 predicted. C1 and C2 is the the covers of the text 1 and text 2 and C1 pred and C2 pred is the predicted covers of the text 1 and text 2. So it means that for individual points that above the diagonal line, so they are uh, where D1 greater than D2, they are grouped into uh, C2 pred and for the point uh, below this is C1 pred and for C1 is the red dot and C2 is the blue dot and we have this confusion matrix for the classification and we can easily derive the accuracy score and F1 score in this case so the XA, uh, uh, the Chung XA algorithm propose a score as is the mean value between those two uh, classification metrics and the S score ranging from 0 to 1. There are two important scenarios in this uh, algorithm. So the first here is uh, for the pair of mm, uh, for pair of text sample from different authors and pairs of text sample from similar authors. For pairs of text uh, sample from different author, if the algorithm perfectly classifies individual chunks into the predicted uh, corpus, 
Uh, so in this case, all of the the points here are well separated uh, into the plan they belong to. So the accuracy and the F one is both one, and the S score for design different is gonna be one. So uh, similarly to the case of the similar order. So in this case, the the all of the in vivo text are mixed up all together. And the accuracy and the F1 here in this case is 0.5 and 0.5. So leading to the static um the score S4 design similar is 0.5. Now we have the score distribution, score S distribution for pairs of similar order and pairs of different orders. For the mode of the uh, the score distribution of the pairs of different order in blue here. So the most is going to be 1 and the mode for the similar one is going to be S0.5 um, There's no, this is the key assumption of the Chun X algorithm There's no assumption for the variability, just the mode uh, only And then uh, transfer the, um, convert it, the score S here into probability and then converting probability into similarity uh, probability here. So when the final uh, metric is the the output is gonna the similarity probability when this probability approaching one, so it indicate that that pair is the similar order. Uh, and when uh, similarity probability approaching zero, which means the pairs are from different others. Uh, so the pair of similar author is the positive class and pairs of different author is in the negative class So the string essay can be summarized as follows the input as the text 1 and 6 to the output is going to uh, provide uh, similarity probabilities 1 uh, When it's uh, approaching 1 so text 1 and 6 is sample from the same author uh, and uh, vice versa So 0 they sample from the different author so on the experiment here, so I'm gonna do the experiment for short text and uh, long text for surveying, and the mixed range text for testing. So in this study, the text below ten thousand characters is gonna be considered as the short text, and above ten thousand characters is gonna be considered as the long text. Um, and these are the surveying part. The surveying part is gonna kind of survey. Uh, survey the algorithm with different um, combination of the chunk size C and vocabulary size V uh, for different input lengths and then to see how the algorithm perform in different settings and for the testing here uh, I'm gonna uh, choose a specific combination of C and V I mean the combination of vocabulary size uh, V and chunk size C uh, to see how the algorithm perform and then for now coming to the survey in the short text so I have the the vocabulary side choices here and the chunk side choices here and there uh, is the, the heat map the AUC score for the short text the brighter uh, the color here is so indicate the higher AUC score than the darker one so here the top 10 of the 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 chunk side and vocabulary side combination and for the individual text uh, individual uh, intervals so uh, similarly for the long text so the choice of the vocabulary side and the chunk size and the heat map again the AUC score for the long text and um, so the brighter the color is the higher the score gonna be and so I picked up the top 10 AUC score with the specific combination of the chunk size C and vocabulary size V. In this case, so range it up from the top 1 to top 10. Uh, and then for in, I, I taken all the result from uh, all the combination here to examine um, the individual interval uh, below. So they all increase the AUC score when the text is longer. Now the text in the chunk uh, X is so the interval from 1 to 6000 so the chart of the chunk size is 500 and vocabulary size of 20 uh, similarly for the follow from 6000 to up to 30000 with those specific choices of chunk size and vocabulary size
and then uh, the first step is to calculate and examine the similarity probability distribution so sorry for this one it should be the um, similarity probability not the score here I'm sorry about that and um, the distribution of the similar bears is going to be in red and the distribution of the different bears is going to be in gray the kind of the the those two distribution for each of the intervals are going to be more getting more and more distinct when the text is getting longer and more clear and more well defined and well separated and the text getting longer and the the spread of the distribution getting smaller when the text getting longer and the two distribution are actually different from each other by performing the May Whitney U test between two classes similarity distribution because all of the p value is significantly low. And then for the step to choosing the threshold on the validation side, we have the threshold value here and we have the accuracy. Uh, and then uh, for each of the intervals, um, the threshold choices uh, have the different kind of effect on the accuracy. And we only wait, pick the threshold where the accuracy and the validation set is maximum. And then the, uh, the threshold on the validation set here. So we have the, the, the value of the threshold changing across the length of the text input. So it's getting to over the common threshold value when the text is getting longer. So finally, the performance of the test set. Performance of the test set, so we have the ranges from 1,000 to 30,000 characters. And the accuracy, all of the metrics, classification metrics used in this study, AUC accuracy and F1 scores are all increased uh, when the text is getting longer. And for the shortest um, text uh, with interval between 1000 and 2000 to accuracy is 0645 and uh, so the red accuracy the red light here so point for six uh point uh six four five here yes so it's going to increase when the text getting longer reaching up to point nine four when the text is uh, 30,000 characters uh, around that interval yes so Conclusion, Genesis is the newly profiled algorithm in this study. So built upon the statistical testing hypothesis and the exit-based similarity uh, algorithm. So uh, the Chung algorithm offers a decent result on short text. And when text longer, the accuracy increases, especially the accuracy which is uh, 0.94 for the long history between uh, uh, 90 and 30,000 characters. So here the reference and thank you for listening.